So my research sits at the interface between physics, chemistry, biology, and en engineering. At its core, it's about developing new techniques in order to understand nature. Uh, this comes from looking at nature at the very, very small level from a nanoscale up to full system-wide scale of understanding. And the reason we do that is in order to design new materials, new manufacturing processes, taking what nature does so well, using intelligent chemistry and integration of lots of different techniques in order to develop something which has an impact on human nature on the world around us. One of these things we were saying we were talking about looking at techniques to develop and understand nature, uh, particularly understanding the biophysics of infection. So understanding, using physics and chemistry, understand biology and actually understand how our cells become infected. So what we do is we develop models of cell membranes of myelin sheaths that we have in our nerve endings all the way through to skin. And we take these to large scale facilities that we only have in the UK, we have two of these facilities, and we fire things like neutrons and x-rays at them. And we use this to specifically see on a nanoscale exactly how things are inserting into these membranes that represent our cells, our skin, our nerve endings. And using this knowledge in order to design new drugs or new ways of targeting particular cancer cells or various things in that way. So being at Kent is incredibly exciting, not only from a geographical perspective, where we're situated in the southeast of the UK, uh, gives us access to a lot of these facilities, like I've mentioned before, like ISIS and Diamond in Oxfordshire, but also around us, we have a lot of industry that are interested in working with what we're doing and building and what we're doing. But then also within Kent itself, within the university itself, we've got an exciting cross-disciplinary team of people in biology and engineering, all the way through to the social sciences, that we can all work together to work on some of these projects and ideas that we're working on to move forward and go in new directions that I never thought would be possible without the University of Kent. So for me, it's incredibly important that we take the research that I'm doing in the lab and bring it into the classroom environment. If we look at the path of the students as they go through their careers at the university and they go out into the world, we hope they will be the future research leaders and developing new techniques and technologies. So it's incredibly important for me that I take the techniques, the cutting edge techniques that I'm developing in my lab and bring that into the classroom environment to give them a context in what they're learning so that they can see where their futures will lead in their research. To give an example, I'm currently working on new fingerprinting techniques for polymer blank notes and looking at metal surfaces, which is currently being used by police forces across the UK. And I will bring that into the lab and teach that to the second and third year students so they can really see how research impacts what they are learning right now.